Give him the adoration. Take your seat one minute if you can. I know people are healed and people have encounters. If you're like that, let me see you. You already had an encounter, you got a healing already. All right, I'll call you out shortly. But very, very importantly, I want to charge you on the subject, vengeance for deliverance. And when I say deliverance, it is all inclusive. When I say deliverance, it includes healing. When I say deliverance, it includes breakthrough. When I say deliverance, it includes a total turnaround. It is clear throughout scripture that there are deliverances that cannot happen until there is vengeance. God may need to deal with somebody in order to heal somebody. There is somebody's rest that cannot happen until somebody is laid to rest. So I am here with a brutal judgmental mantle. It's a fire prophetic and apostolic mantle that is going to judge every devil, every witch, every wizard, every sickness, every affliction, every disease in your body today. I declare their judgment now in the name of Jesus. Anybody and anything and any system and any organization and any conspiracy that will not allow you to be, that will not allow you to rest. I prophesy if I be of God, then in this season they shall be laid to rest. Everybody who said over their dead body before you become who God wants you to become over their dead body before you get married over their dead body before you get your children that said over their dead body before you break through financially over their dead body before your ministry succeeds over their dead body before you become who god wants you to become i announce today their obituary they shall be laid to rest and you shall go to rest if you are saying amen, shout the Lord and say amen. Look at your neighbor say, it is vengeance for deliverance. Look at somebody say, it is vengeance for deliverance. Hear me? Before the next 24 hours, and in series of 24 hours, after another 24 hours, another 48 hours, another 72 hours, all the way to seven days between now and that time. If there is a man or a woman, no matter how hard they are, no matter how strong they are, no matter how powerful they are, they shall be laid to rest. with both the native doctor that woman that laid on the ground now bring her forward the one that the camera just showed was that the one anybody now hear me this is what I heard the Lord said he would deal with the horse and the rider that is the native doctor and the one who consulted him Lift your hands. The witchcraft power that tie down your life and your destiny and your seed and your seed and your fruit today. That power is broken. Broken, 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 broken. The Lord is about to deal with the horse and the rider. He's about to deal with the one who took your name to the native doctor and the native doctor himself. Ah! Shy, 
Rabadagala, Iketele Paratasi. Italaya, Ike Tele Perete Setola, Ike Tele Perete Sida, Ika Dayadayala. It's about to deal with the horse and its rider. It's going to deal with the one who took your name to the witchcraft cover and the witches themselves. Shash! There are shrines that will catch fire because of you within these few days they shall catch fire shrines make them doctor shrines which doctor shrine occultic shrine cobble shall catch fire because of you in this season i am speaking to a mother here those who will not leave your children alone they shall be ruined now who want to useless your children like they say in Africa who want to useless your children useless your children in your hands they want to useless your children render them useless render them vagabonds render them wayward render them sick and afflicted Jehovah will deal with them today Exodus chapter 4 verse 22 and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh thou saith the Lord Israel is my son Paul and Anche is my son call your name even my first man and he said and I say unto thee let my son go they must let you go today they must let your children go today ay, 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 let my son go that he may serve me and if you refuse to let him go behold i will kill you even your firstborn and pharaoh refused to let him go therefore god killed the firstborn of Pharaoh and the firstborn of the Israelites I stand here today you know any devil any agent who will not let you go shall go for you who does not now that he may serve me anything that is distracting your service of God you want to serve God with all your heart then you remember the diagnosis you want to serve God with all your heart then the devil say but you are not yet married but you don't yet have a child but you don't have a place to sleep everything that is distracting your service of God and any devil that has a hand in that distraction I announce today they are destroyed Very listen people you want to have an, I mean she was brought forward when she, when she was lying down and then you spoke to her taking authority over everything against her life against her seed and then destroying altars against her family she told me that since she lost her husband like 15 years ago nothing has been working for her and her children that's she right sees them in a cage yes the size they are her seat. yes sir sees them inside the cage sees herself in the cage yes. and then sees people chasing her in the dream at times they will be shooting guns at her and today her word just and came. those who tied your seed now are about to be laid to rest amen hey hey i announce to you today anyone that i'm talking about your children right now yes sir. that want to render them useless yes. want to render them afflicted want to render them irrelevant i prophesy any 
any devil and group of devils that say it should not be well with you and well with your children they are laid to rest you shall hear of their destruction 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 I decree it is your season of deliverance healing miracle breakthrough so it is the season of vengeance if God can kill Pharaoh for Israel to go even if it is the president of a country that's standing in the way of your destiny in the way of your of the purpose of God for your life they shall go for you in this season they shall go for you in this season something is breaking lift your right hand and say father oh God to whom vengeance belongs show yourself say it louder say oh God to whom vengeance belongs show yourself show yourself say it louder oh God to whom vengeance belongs show yourself so glorious in this place you are glorious 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 so glorious in this place my he judged Pharaoh and then he judged Herod in Acts chapter 12 verse 23 and 24 <laughs> and immediately the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not God the glory and he was eating of worms and gave up the ghost after he died the word of God grew and multiplied Everything standing in the way of the growth of God's purpose in your life, in my life in Nigeria. Everything standing in the way of, God, of the growth and the multiplication of the purpose of God for my life, for your life, for the church, for the body of Christ. Everything standing in the way of the growth and multiplication of the purpose of God for your life. In this season, they shall expire. Jehovah shall touch them. Jehovah shall touch them. Jehovah shall touch them. Jehovah shall touch them. Before this service is over, the angel of the Lord shall touch Herod. The angel of the Lord shall smite Herod before this service is over. The angel of the Lord shall smite Herod. If you are saying amen, you ought to say it like a believer. And third scripture we pray. Acts 13, 9 to 12. A man was called Elimas the sorcerer. Then Saul, who is also called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him and said, O oh, fool of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will you not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you shall be blind not seeing the sun for a season and immediately there fell upon him a mist and a darkness and he went about seeking some to lead him by the hand and the deputy when he saw what was done believed 
there are those who will not believe until there is judgment every devil doubting your faith in God God will show them judgment that will make them believe every group of witches and wizards and they are agents doubting whether you are serving the living God or not. In this season, God shall show them his hand of judgment, his hand of violence, his hand of judgment. And they shall believe. And they shall believe. And they shall believe. He will show them his hand of violence his hand of judgment and they shall believe god will do something around your life judgment of the enemy around your family around your destiny that will make people believe you are serving a genuine god lift up your hands i'm going to make a call at the end but the first thing you know is that God implements vengeance for his people his people let my people he doesn't implement vengeance for outsiders for his people let my people if you cannot be called his people then you are not a candidate for his hand of violence against your enemies as you march on the road look at your dressing and ask yourself can God call me his own can God call me his own? As you see it at various socialization joints, ask yourself, will God look down from heaven and say, this is my beloved son. This is my beloved daughter. Can he call you his own? As you transact business and move from office to office, just look at yourself, ask yourself this question. Can El Shaddai look down and say that is my beloved daughter that is my son if you cannot then the vengeance we are talking about is not yours but it can be yours if you can make up your mind today right right now for god to be proud of you say that is my dear daughter no nonsense girl she won't compromise she won't look for job by selling her body she won't move about naked in the name of dressing this is my beloved son i trust him he won't cheat he won't lie then when they look for you he steps down to show them you are his own lift up your hands everywhere god administers judgment secondly on the platform of covenant God remembered covenant on the platform of covenant on the platform of solid covenant relationship solid relationship of commitment next about chapter 2 from verse 23 and 24 are you committed to God 23 and 24 are you committed to God God remember his covenant. Are you committed? How far can you go with God? What is your level of sacrifices? Covenant involves sacrifice. Sacrifice of time. Sacrifice of resources. Sacrifice of many things. God does not play with his covenant people. If you, if you toy with me, you, you, you are looking for death. And thirdly, God releases vengeance for his people who call on him. You call on him. The Bible said God heard their cry. And God said, I am on the way to deal with Pharaoh. Oh God to whom vengeance belongs, I am calling on you. Show my community that there is a God in heaven. 
show my neighborhood show my family that there is a god in heaven show my colleagues in the office that there is a god in heaven show show the world that there is a god for those who call on him lift up your hands just go ahead and begin let me start by leading those to Christ here this morning who are saying to me pastor I want my ways right with Jesus I won't call you out now I'll call you out at the end of the service but lift up your hands everywhere you are and pray this prayer with me and say Lord Jesus I am a sinner I need you in my life come into my life Jesus make me a new person today I have decided to follow you Lord no turning back from today forward ever backward never thank you Lord in Jesus name amen lift your hands and say father oh God to whom vengeance belongeth I come before you on the grounds of covenant show yourself in my life around my life oh God of vengeance show yourself around my life open your mouth and begin to speak to God In the name of Jesus if you are sitting be up standing lift your hands everyone we have just two prayers to pray those who prayed the prayer of surrender now I will call you out shortly but lift your hands high high up and say after you say Jesus, Jesus I come before you today oh consuming fire, oh, consuming fire. release your fire of judgment, your fire of judgment. Now, now against every altar, against every altar. And, every agent and every agent of evil, of evil and, wickedness and wickedness position position to fight your to fight your purpose to fight your purpose for my life for my life oh god, oh god. of vengeance oh release your hand of violence your hand of vengeance against every agent of the devil every agent of evil every agent of wickedness standing in the way of your purpose for my life for my destiny father judge them consuming fire arise now Open your mouth and pray. Arise in judgment. Arise in judgment.
And say, Father, Father consuming, fire, consuming fire, release your vengeance, release your vengeance on, every on every adversary of your purpose, of your purpose for, my life. for my life. Father, Father consuming, fire, consuming fire, release your vengeance, release your fire on every agent, on every, agent every altar, every, altar every, evil every evil personality standing in the way. Your purpose, your purpose for my life, for my life. Father, Father. Release, release your judgmental, your judgmental fire. fire. No! Open your mouth and pray. Fire. your two hands. Say, Father, Father release, release your deliverance, deliverance on my life, on my life and on my family. On my family. Now. now. When, that, when the word now happens, that your hand is coming on your head lift it high lift your hand high the lord as the ven you will hear vengeance soon and when we say now and you place your hand on your head you will blast in tongues at the top of your voice and i see god saving somebody in your village because of you I see someone that is like the father of somebody or man, elderly person that is being saved in the village from here. Your mother, your brother, mad relation. As the judgment answers in the camp of the enemy, the madness will return back to the enemy and your brother will be free. You will hear news right now. There is somebody planning to travel to the village with a bottle of oil to pray for somebody that now is a man and he's a security personnel is that person here you came with a bottle of oil you want to take it to the village to pray for somebody a man anyway you are you step forward whereas however lift up your hands everyone a man a man Yeah, give him the detail. Lift up your hands, people. Just get the detail. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. 
Lift your hands, people. Just begin to tell the Lord the deliverance you want to receive right now. The deliverance you want to receive right now. Now, I, I, and I'm saying this is not just for only you, but for your loved ones, your family members, your brothers, your sisters. Begin to tell the Lord what you want to receive right now. Go ahead and tell him. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. And you are, you are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy. Everywhere you are. Yes, 